All right, one more. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. <laughs> you fucking dog. What is going on, YouTube Universe? This is our God Zero. We are back, finally, with some more Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you for taking the time out of your day for joining me for another episode. Sit back, relax, and hopefully... Let's have a bit of fun together today. So we're picking up the action where we left off previously, and we are heading in the direction of Plainsong, which is, I believe, a cave system where one of the tribes that we have just come across um, is going to be able to help us with uh, bringing about what we're hunting down. Let's get that golden bloom. Aloy is on a quest, and... Only she can save the world, apparently, and this place could hold the key to uh, having that little uh, adventure began. Considering we still haven't headed to the Forbidden West yet, we're still pretty much in the area that uh, Horizon Zero Dawn made famous, so I'm so keen to uncover everything that we are yet to uncover, but have a look. Just how beautiful the fucking landscape is. Oh, look over there. Might have to go look over there later on. But we are heading towards the west. There's a tall neck over there. We might have to go... Actually, no, we've been on that tall neck before. We have been on that tall neck before. But we're going to make our way down this mountain. I apologise that it's been so long between episodes. Uh, for those of you who aren't in the loop, who might have missed my social media posts or my community tab posts, I did uh, unfortunately fall victim to COVID, which means I fell behind in not just YouTube stuff, but a lot of real world stuff as well, university stuff and all that kind of stuff. So we're now playing catch up and it just feels so good to be playing this again. I'm worried one day I'm going to go for a swim and we're going to get snapped up. But we're back on our merry way. And I want to collect as many uh, healing items as we can because we used a lot of them in the previous couple of episodes. Especially when we took on the snapping turtle. Those things don't fuck around, let me tell you. Nope. Nope. You can piss off, mate. I'm just gonna run this way. I don't want to get into any fights if we don't, you know, if we don't have to, if we can avoid it. But let's stockpile as many of those as we can. We've got a ridiculous amount of sticks. We've got uh, 597 in storage. We've still yet to take one of those birds down as well. But we're only a couple of hundred meters away from Plainsong, and I'm going to assume that's Plainsong right there. If I don't get guy up and, running, and this is the blight. All this red shit around here is what's uh, killing the world. I must be closing in on the signal. What the fuck? More of the Ataru's land gods. So the fields with light. Ah, okay. So the U Utaru tribe is who we see right here. They revere the mechanical creatures as gods. So if we were to kill one of them like I was just planning on doing, uh, that would have caused a lot of fucking drama. So I'm glad we didn't. Speaking of, let's get a question of the day going, and we're going to get we're going to get a little bit creative. We've obviously seen a plethora of different creatures so far that have been given the mechanical treatment, but 
if you were to develop a mechanical creature for the Horizon universe, what creature would you guys at home create? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now we gotta work out how to get up here. There's probably some stairs. There is some stairs right there. But how do we get to the stairs? I'm gonna have a look around. I'm probably staring it right in the face. Let's go through the cane field. Oh, we've got an outfitter over here. the outfit is up there. Hello, friend. We'll manage. There's some uh, quests to be had in this area, which is good. There's Moral and Zo. Aha, see? I knew I'd find you guys eventually. I'm here. The lovebirds. Singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. Then Let me the in. First of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself. Of course it has. And the tribe. Um, I'm curious to know how Val helped. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone, but Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. That is beautiful singing in the background. It's very Final Fantasy-esque. Let's just go straight to the so, chorus. The chorus is assembled. Cut to the chorus! No, they're considering your request. Then... Shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. Oh, fuck, I know she can. See. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above. Where the chorus has gathered. Well, I'm more than ready. Um, I'm curious to maybe... Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. See if we can go up top and go to the uh, Stitcher and see what kind of clothing options we've got up here. See if we can give uh, Aloy a new look before we head into, uh, head into the cave. All right, what have we got? We've got the Wayfarer. We have the Utaru Harvester, and we've got the... Oh! Yes! We get skills in potent medicine, low health defense. Oh, we got to do this. we got to... we got to do that. It's going to cost me 399 metal shards. We've got 2,000 of them. And we've got a long leg circulator. We did it. Coils and weaves. Uh, 
what are we going to do here? Do we do a silent strike? Oh, do we do silent strike heal? That could be good. Yeah, let's buy that. And now let's go into our inventory. Let's go to outfits. That's the one we're currently wearing. This looks dope as fuck. Gives us additional attack damage. It gives us a little bit less defensive damage, but it gives us coverage against... Uh, can we see what... Let's edit... Let's edit weaves. Yeah, melee def... There you go, melee defense is through the roof. Um... Range defense? No, let's go with the silent strike heal. Oh, that looks sick. I am so happy with that. Hell yes. And it's purple. And purple is... Definitely one of my favorite colors. So, uh, being able to rock something as dope as this, man. Hi, guys. Do you like my new look? Oh, it looks sick. It looks so good. Oh, I like the, uh, is that a frost arrow she's got going on there? I'm just going to follow them. Is this where you guys are going to wait for me? Some Beautiful. The scene just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not going to have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right, let's go talk to them. Bought some new digs for the occasion. Straight up, look like Peter Pan in this bitch. Pay my respects. Ooh, nice uh, little nip slip there. I know some of you watching at home would appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it so, will and the Nora have spread word of your story and what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave, only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die and become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around until you become food for worms? Literally? Fair question. Is the outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please. Remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zo. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah. By inviting you to break our traditions. I could just go into the cave myself. Every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. 
You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. She has a point. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Was that from the cordon? It's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. Well, fuck you guys, I'm going in. Mission is over. Then off we go. She is such a badass. And that face mask, I This way. If, if you're aware, I've been playing Batman Arkham City on the channel and makes her look like a fucking superhero. It is so good. Now, during that whole ordeal with the mountain, my controller was rumbling like uh, Rexy from Jurassic Park was fucking stomping around, so... These machines don't look normal. I've seen these machines before. Whoa! Now you know what? Fight your own fight. I'm out of here. Oh. Okay, maybe not fight your own fight. We have to fight these fucking... Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh! Got him! Let's go. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? If I'm right, then yeah. Just what I need. Don't mind me, I'm just stopping for heals. Let's craft some more. Can't craft anymore. God damn it. These machines are stronger, deadlier, than normal. There's more than just Minerva and a missing land guy in that cave. Keep leading the way, Zo. As far as I'm concerned, the uh, tribe back there can handle their own. I killed a couple of them. 
but they want to question my ability to save the world, they can get fucked, mate. This trail After all, they said it themselves. Us. One, uh, It'll lead us to one the seed does not change the balance between life and decay. More machines. We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Yeah, okay. I'm ready. Ow. Oh, you fucking ass. I'm in trouble. 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 I fucking told you I was in trouble. Kill the big one! You can piss off! Get up. Run. 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 Fucking hell. I think our battle is let's go. Right behind you. This way, Aloy. You can wait. Scrap it needs to scrap. Let's go. Almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Oh, 
He's off. I love this game so much. I really hope you guys are enjoying this experience. We've only just started scratching the surface, I feel. Oh, what's left of it? So many deaths. They will be more when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into so now we must head inside. Let's explore the sacred cave. Kind of wall made of light. We'll oh, <laughs> we'll have to go around, folks, because uh, I just got my ass electrocuted. Your walls can't contain me. Ready for anything now. Can't grab that, that's fine. That like a cauldron door. I can open this. I can open this, I got this. Understand what's going on in there. You're gonna need one of these. Try it on. Just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoth. I help. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. More dangerous? That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. Okay. Follow my lead. She looks dope. We have to find the core of this place. So much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Okay. Um. Machines in here. We'll have to take them out. Right behind you. There are machines in here. Ah. Kangaroo song. Ow. Fuck. Oh.
Oh, you asshole. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Fucking hit me from across the room, you kangaroo fuck! Do you, Val? Do you really have him? Because I don't think you fucking do. I got him. Alright, one more. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Dog. We took them all down. So this is a cauldron. And my brother farted off camera. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the episode right here. Um, when we return, we're going to push further into the cave and see what the hell's going on. See if we've got any secrets to uncover, any bosses to take on, whatever the case may be. Hope you guys are keen to continue this journey with me. If you are, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. If you've missed any episodes along the way, playlist in the description. You guys are welcome. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.